just about sailing June 2021. Now this one is brought to you all in the key of B flat. <laughs> Uh, this one is only about varnishing, that's all it is for the whole thing. There's a lot of varnishing to do. This double bass, my double bass, um, Medusa, uh, about the same age as Serenity, uh, mid-1970s. Still got the original varnish, um, lovely maple back, um, maple sides and a Carpathia spruce top. I uh, recently had some work so that this was placed. This is now um, ebony, which is not treated at all, maple bridge, which is not treated at all, and maple neck, which I had reshaped and has been oiled. And um, similar with, with boat stuff, it's, and I think the varnish was sprayed onto this. Ages ago, I decided to do the varnish work and then ran out of energy. Um, Lucy, as we saw in the last video, is off to do um, some marine biology work. She did a fantastic job and actually did finish it. So spoiler alert, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, she did finish it, which is what we're going to show. Um, it was kind of a maintenance coat. So it was really two coats of um, this stuff, which is the gold spar, I think. And then a single coat of, and I forgot what it's called. Is it the gold spar satin? But it's sort of matte one. I'll, I'll put a picture of them up here. Um, and then I did, um, on the handrails, which is a roco wood, I did some uh, wood skin, and we'll show that. So this one literally is just about the sort of varnishing. I promise I'm not going to show any more varnishing after this. We will just sort of finish it. Um, if you're a new watcher, by the way, because uh, thanks, Mads, again, for mentioning this, this channel. I kind of panicked a little bit because Mads was doing um, some expanded foam epoxy underneath his shower room. Um, and I know that the Sikkim in the normal stuff with the hardener that we both used for our rudders needs a post cure of 50 degrees Fahrenheit centigrade, can't remember, um, centigrade I think, otherwise it doesn't uh, cure at all. But he got back to me and said actually he's using a different type of hardener, so really read the technical data sheets if you're doing that, this stuff. So if you're new because you've come over from that, what happens in these videos is a lot slower than what Mads does. What's, what you're going to see over the next 15 minutes or so, Mads will probably do in a, in a, <laughs> a speeded up sort of thing. Uh, my name's Paul, my daughter is Lucy, who you'll see in a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with me doing the, um, the wood skin on the handrails, then Lucy doing the interior, and then just a little bit of me trying to do something on some wood that's been taken right back to see if I could get away with just four coats of the, the sort of the glossy varnish with one. Uh, final coat of the satin and see how that went. Oh, and because Lucy always talks about dogs and her particular dog that she loved, there's a quite there's a little interlude where I introduced two of the dogs that we have. So anyway, um, let's get on with it. So these need to be. <laughs> I'm going to put wood skin on on these. These are the handrails, and I've kind of hung them up diagonally by a couple of old bent coat hangers across here. It's um. It's absolutely at head high, so <laughs> that's probably a good thing actually. If something's at eye level, you will spot it. If it's just slightly above, then I tend to bang my head on it because it's one of the things I'm famous for. They're, they're very close together, which is a bit awkward, but it's the only place where I could get a decent amount of floor space. I say decent. Um, so I'm going to move a few of these things out of the way, fenders and such like, and give this five, six, possibly even seven coats of wood skin uh, which you've seen me do before because I did it on the um, on the flag post and then we'll see what that looks like right so these have had the minimum is supposed to be three I think I've done another four or five I think it's five coats uh, I don't know if you can tell but this this nearer one here has actually turned out much nicer than this one this one was a bit dribbly because obviously this surface here was vertical when they were hanging up. <laughs> vertical varnishing, I've discovered, is not necessarily a good thing. So I'm very pleased with the finish overall with both of these. But what I'm going to do to get them a little bit smoother is once I've fitted them, 
is to give a sanding off at the top and then do another couple of coats just so I've got a nice flat finish on the top. You're not really supposed to or you don't have to sand between coats and because it's half oil and half varnish it takes ages to dry. I mean these have been sitting here for several days and you can still feel there's some stickiness but stuff I've done before really has dried quite nicely so yeah I'm happy with that. Probably didn't need to do it but I like the look of it and there's often a lot of debate as to whether you should varnish Iroko Antique or not or wood skin it or oil it and do you know what there's no right or wrong answer it's up to you but do leave comments below if you have a strong opinion below and if you do have a strong opinion um, <laughs> maybe you should get out more because to be quite honest it's not that important. Now I wasn't going to come in here until uh, Lucy had finished but I need to do a little bit of work which um, to change the door but she's actually just in one session uh, managed to do a significant amount she said she wasn't desperately happy because there are a few sort of brush marks and things but do you know what it's getting a sanding before the final coat it gets better as you go on and that was the reason for starting here but <laughs> let's be brutally honest about this she's doing a better job than I've done on my varnishing I just love the look of this this is fantastic it is going to be a more satiny finish rather than this sort of shiny finish so this is going to really dry off well then there's going to be a um, a very fine sandpaper coat all over just to get this flat and then um, a coat of the satin but wow yeah no so far so good I am absolutely delighted it's so nice to see it looking like proper wood rather than just some rather than looking like this and I've got to say it's all Lucy she sanded all of this down so you know all of the interior that's that's her thing and I think she's done a fabulous job of it don't tell her I said that I mean she doesn't watch these videos so there's no way she's gonna find out but I'm a pretty girl oh <laughs> I will cut that bit out <laughs> right so I need to Lucy's mostly doing this squeak on the floor why don't you Lucy's mostly doing this without me around so she's that we've run out of varnish that's my fault I've got some more coming tomorrow that's get really star. nice the question was as to whether to leave these bits shiny or to put matte on and I actually think matte will be nicer. Yeah, and matte is more forgiving of the blobs. Yeah, there are. If you, you go on, you point at a blob of dirt, people can see them. It's like blob central Depending down on where here. The, yeah, but it depends where the light is. I think it'll be fine. I've seen worse blobs. Anyway, um, enough of this. Start doing some work and I'll video you actually doing something. <laughs> You can't swear on my channel, I've just turned the thing on. I didn't realise that was on. No, I only just switched it on. Lucy's got a lamp because sometimes it's really difficult to see what you've done, what you haven't for the second coat. Now I feel like I'm in CSI. Now you feel like you <laughs> <laughs> should be named for a red one, shouldn't you? I'm getting the luminal. There's, there's definitely a difference in sheen between that and that, isn't there? Mm. Maybe I was like thicker there and not as thick there. I've got no idea. It's all a thousand. It all looks great, actually. That's pretty much through. I don't have enough hands. Well, I'll hold that, and then you can you, you can check it. But I'm only filming a little bit, and then I'm going away. I'm not. Gonna, it's just for the channel. Where are you gonna start? I'm gonna start at the end. Okay. This is good, I've got Lucy's head on it. <laughs> I'm trying to be small. Hmm. I don't know if that's any use me shining that. Yeah, yeah, I can see it, it's good. Muchas gracias. To be quite honest, when I do this, it's mostly memory. I did it all around last time. I assume that that's not vital, but I thought it'd be weird. Yeah, no, 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 it'd be it'd yeah, it all around, absolutely. Have I pressed the right button? Yes, I have pressed the right button. Right, Lucy started doing the sanding. Ta-da! She's off fairly shortly, so hopefully she'll have enough time to finish all the sanding. I was going to get an action shot of you actually sanding. 
Oh, I'll well, do that in a second. I'll... In a second, shall we pretend there's a really candid moment and I haven't noticed you? Yeah? Yeah. I think that that will be like really like not obvious at all. Anyway, so yeah, as I say to Lucy earlier, so look at that, that, that sort of half and half. Shiny. It's a real shame that you kind of, you get it all lovely and shiny <laughs> and then you start to sand it and you think, I've wrecked it. <laughs> Right, Lucy said, don't look at me. Oh, God. <laughs> it's really hot in this it's, boat. It's, it's ridiculously hot in this boat at the moment, isn't it? Everything's open. I'm not... Yeah, no, no, I know. I noticed. I'm not in a sauna. Well, I am in a sauna, but... Good for you. Yeah. So you're going to actually finish the sanding today, aren't you? Yeah, I've You've got nearly... to do... You've got to do just that bit. And that's it. And then I was going to hoover yeah. today, because otherwise I'll be too lazy to do it tomorrow. And what about doing the acetone? I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, because then I'll feel like I've made sure it's really, really nice and shiny, shiny, not dusty. Well, the thing is, given that there's only one coat to go on tomorrow, you don't have to get it all done in the morning. You could do two or three lots. That's true. You? I could do half in the morning, half in the afternoon. Have a very nice long lunch. Right, steaming hot day. Sorry about the um, singing. I don't think I'm going to get a copyright strike with Lucy's singing. <laughs> I don't think the... I'm not even sure if it was a true tune. So the final coat is going on, which is the satin coat, which has been done here. That's that's all been done. That's st that still looks a little bit shiny, simply because it's um it's actually it's drying, because it's yeah it's still wet. But um, very very happy with this. Are you trying, going to try and finish today? I think it's doable. I'll stop halfway for lunch. And then, obviously. yeah. You can't work when you're hungry. That would just be foolish. It would be foolish. Have you done this this bit along here, that top bit? What top bit? The, the fiddle thing. What? Where are we? That thing that's called yeah. a fiddle. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's just, there no, I, it, it, it still looks wet. It's interesting. You can see the bits that are drying. As it dries, it kind of dries. Matt, yeah, and that's I started, still... um, oh that already looks quite mad. That looks, it's I'm amazing thinking, actually. That's my first section, and that wasn't that long ago. So this is what it looks like when it goes matte, which is really, really lovely, and then it's kind of drying off a bit more. Okay. Right, welcome to the film review <laughs> program, which is just talking about the best Disney live things. Lucy has finished, well done. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> some of it is still drying, so it's quite interesting because that has all gone nice and matte. The bits that have gone matte, even where even where there's little blobbles and little runs, it kind of it doesn't matter. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Doesn't matter because I'm not redoing it. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't matter because you you can't see. It doesn't sort of shine in a very awkward way. Yeah, but it's quite the funny. matte is very. Thin. That hasn't completely gone matte yet. That's gone less matte because that's all still drying. Definitely the right decision, I think, to um, to do that with, mm. the, with the satin finish. Um, wonderful. I say, still need to all this this bit in the front here. That that needs to be done because that had to be taken right back because there was a little water ingress. But um, yeah, really impressed. Well done. So I had to come and inspect. Um, the tape's not coming off yet. We you know, there's two ways of doing it. You either take the tape off between coats. Or you wait until it's finished and then you have to score it with a with a knife so that you don't set so nothing. And I refuse well. and you to refuse do that. To do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that tomorrow if it's all dry. But um yeah, I had to do an inspection because Lucy now gets a bar of Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, well done. <laughs> it's my favourite. God, you're so much tidier than me when you do this stuff. You've kept it there's no mess. I spread out my mess everywhere. <laughs> This is a lesson for me to learn here. Right, let's go and get you some chocolate sorted yeah. out. Comments? <laughs> it's, it's all comparative. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've Maybe. mentioned dogs a few times and Lucy's favourite, which is there. We've actually got six dogs in the family, neither of them belong to us, but um, this is my favourite. 
And my favourite is... And Lisa's is favourite is this... <laughs> everywhere. It's probably out of shot there. Oh, he's a baby. <laughs> he's a baby. He's a baby. They're, they're absolutely best of friends and they really go, do go together mm -hmm. like a pair of... Actually, Disney, if you're watching, if you watch this channel, Disney, Homeward Bound, the next stars, yeah? Helicopter boy and the... He's the Flash. He's the Flash. He moves so quickly you can't even see him. Turn around, show everybody how handsome you are. He is very handsome. Very handsome. Anyway, that's enough about dogs. Just about dogs. Never enough. Never enough. Right, I wasn't going to video this. I'm... These are some interior trim bits which I've been varnishing, but I wanted to try something different. Normally I use this stuff, usually at the 320 level, which is just standard sort of fine sandpaper, but it's, it's very pleasant to use, it's very nice to use. On a sanding block. But then I saw this stuff from 3M, it's kind of like plasticky and apparently it lasts 15 times it costs more it costs two or three times as much but if it lasts 15 times more that's got to be good doesn't it so i'm going to try this out so that's the only reason i'm actually videoing this right so basically this is some work that lucy did ages ago which was for some of the interior trim that were taken out she sanded it all way right back beautifully um, and i have definitely got the easier job because I've been doing the varnishing on this, but varnishing when you can lay something down is so much easier. I don't know if you can see that, but that's literally, there's no sanding or anything there. I've, I've just put four coats of compass varnish on and it's come up really, really nicely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this down with that stuff I just showed you and then put a, put a coat of the satin on it and that should be it and see if that's okay. There is still some of the vertical walls to do and it might be me that has to do that, so not looking forward to that but um yeah anyway let's see how this sandpaper works right the one slightly awkward thing about this is <laughs> it's not quite long enough to fit the little spikes which is weird because this is actually a 3m sander and this is a 3m product this video is not sponsored by and i don't get sponsorship at all by 3m because if i think it's rubbish i'll say it's rubbish but you'd have thought they could have put it, made it the right size for their own sander anyway this, this feels really weird because it's, it, 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 it feels like plastic. That's because it is plastic. It must be some sort of silicon. So, <coughs> that, that feels all right, actually. not clogging up too badly early days but so far 10 out of 10 yeah that actually feels very pleasant I always think it's weird when you spend a lot on something that's normally quite cheap on the promise that it's going to last for a very long time intellectually it makes sense and financially it makes sense but it always jars a little bit I can't remember how much this stuff is you'll have to look it up um, but it really wasn't cheap compared with the other stuff but happy with that let's do the other ones clean all that off acetone it down and then get the final coat on right just a quick follow-up and the sun is right in my eyes it's very it's late in the evening um, this is the satin finish I haven't done it perfectly mainly because I think I mismanaged the wet edge I think there's one there and there's one there um, I think I did the tipping away from the wet edge but hopefully you can see if I revolve this and move this round. I like the satin. I think the satin over the shiny gives an absolutely perfect finish. There, I think I'm catching it quite nicely there. So anyway, let's forget about varnishing for a bit, shall we? So yeah, that is enough about varnishing. Unfortunately, if I can get, <laughs> if Lucy has enough shore leave from what she's doing, she comes back. I will see if she can do the other bits at the front of the boat which, which need doing, otherwise I'm going to have to do them myself. I do not enjoy doing varnishing, but I'm actually more pleased 
than I can possibly say about how well it's all it's all turned out. One thing I'm going to do, by the way, do leave your questions or anything. I'm not an expert. This is not a DIY channel. It's just the way I did it. But if you do have questions about anything, I might actually do a separate Q&A type, um, one-off, very short video. So if you've got any questions either about this video or other videos or what the plans are or anything, anything that you want to ask a question about at all, I might do a quick Q&A. Just write Q&A or something in the comments and I'll do a do a sort of short thing. Never done it before, don't know if it will work. Um, next time, when I get back to you, it will be more galley work. I have done more galley work, but I didn't want to show it on this video because I just wanted this to be the varnishing and get on with the varnishing. I promise, promise, promise I will not show any more varnishing. So until the next video, thanks for watching. See you then.